This video is about depression. Now let's see, what do we know about depression? We do know that there is caps. those are the symptoms of depression, S for sleep disturbance, I for interest or loss of interest, G for guilt, E for loss of energy, C for loss of concentration, A for loss of appetite, P for psychomotor agitation or retardation, and S for suicidal ideation. Now let's, let me ask you a question. How many of these symptoms has to be a positive for you to call it a depression? At least five of them has to be. So you at least you have to have five or five or five plus symptoms has to be there for you to call it a depression. Now let's talk about something else. Let's talk about atypical depression. What do you understand by atypical depression? The way I remember atypical depression is using this mnemonic, H-O-M, home. Don't ask me why, it works for me. H stands for hypersomnia. Hypersomnia is, uh, is too much sleepiness. O is going to be for overeating. And M is going to be for mood reactivity. What is interesting about atypical depression as well is that atypical depression, uh, they have the ability to be happy in a positive event. Okay? In a positive event, they will be happy. So temporarily, they will feel happiness in a positive event. Okay. For depression or atypical depression, when can we call them depression or atypical depression? They have to be at least six months. They have to be suffering from these symptoms for at least six months. Okay. Atypical depression can also happen for endogenous reasons. So for example, endogenously, they don't have the hormones to make them feel happy. So atypical, atypical depression is often due to endogenous uh, due to endogenous lack of hormones. Last of all, how do we treat atypical depression? We treat atypical depression by using MAO and SSRI. We use those for atypical depression.